guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. It's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch, and a snack or dessert that is literal perfection. It is calorie friendly, point friendly, you can't go wrong with any of these three recipes. All of the recipes are on my website. My website is in the description box down below. Along with my nutrition coaching website, I offer personalized macro and calorie calculation as well as 30 minute and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So definitely take advantage of that. It's great to know where you should fall every day and to take advantage of one-on-one -on -one help to reach your goals and to help you along with your struggles. So you'll find all of that information down in the description box as well. Just discount codes and links to all of my very, very favorite things, as well as the link to head over and join us on Facebook. Of course, we'd love to have you join that community over there as well. So before we jump into the video, give it a thumbs up if you love these meal preps. And I am so close to hitting my 30,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I would love your help in making sure that you are subscribed and better yet, click the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload. I am taking part in Vlogmas, which actually starts tomorrow. So you'll be getting a video every day, December 1st through the 23rd. So I'm so excited to share Vlogmas with you guys. So let's jump into meal prep. breakfast this week I'm gonna make eight cups my original plan was to make ham and cheese but when I picked up my order at Walmart they actually gave me turkey instead of ham so we're substituting for turkey and cheese cups I'm also going to add a little bit of veggies to my eight cups as well so let me show you what's in our recipe I'm using the oven roasted deli turkey in place of ham some light shredded cheese from Trader Joe's of course, you're going to need eggs. And I'm going to add some shiitake mushrooms. I'm just going to dice these up really fine. And also some red bell pepper. We'll probably saute these down really quick just so they get nice and soft before we add them to our egg cup. But let's make some breakfast. I'm going to go ahead and dice up the mushrooms and the bell pepper. And we'll get these into a pan with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray until they're softened. Peppers and mushrooms smell and look so delicious so now let's start putting together the egg cups so to do the egg cups i'm going to spray my muffin tin with just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray i just want to make sure that the eggs if it leaks over the piece of meat doesn't stick and then we're going to add one slice of turkey Now I'm going to spoon some of my mushroom and pepper mixture into the bottom of each of the egg cups. Now we're going to crack in an egg into each one of the spots in the muffin tin. So go ahead and just add it on the top. I'm going to break my yolk. I just wanna make sure that it cooks thoroughly. So you can either leave your yolk whole or break it, whatever your preference is. These are looking delicious. So I'm going to add some of the Trader Joe's onion salt just to the top of the egg. That is my favorite thing on eggs. It is so good. It's really the only seasoning you need. It's delicious. So we'll add some of that. And then lastly, we're going to top each one of the cups with some cheese. So I measured out one full cup of the Trader Joe's light cheese, and I'm just going to evenly add, it's about a tablespoon or so, to each little egg cup. These are going in the oven at 400 degrees until cooked completely through. You wanna make sure your egg is thoroughly cooked and the turkey is crispy and the cheese is melted. Look at these beauties. I just pulled the turkey and cheese egg cups out of the oven. 
These look so good. So I'm going to let them cool just a little bit. We'll pop them out and I'll be back to show you what I'm having for breakfast and give you points and calories. So I'm just going to store my egg cups in these plastic containers, but I wanted to show you guys what they look like kind of up close and personal. Look at how good that looks with the turkey, the egg, the cheese, and that little bit of mushroom and bell pepper. They look really, really good. So I'm just going to continue popping them out. And by the way, they come out really easy. I'm just gonna continue popping them out, get them into some containers and then we'll go over points and calories. And here they are packed away, ready to go for the week. It made 12 egg cups, so my plan is to have at least two every day, just kind of depending on how hungry I am. But these are one smart point on both the blue and purple plan, and three smart points each on the green plan, 128 calories, can't beat it protein packed. I'm going to pair this with some fruit or maybe a slice of toast, just kind of depending on what I'm feeling, but I'm excited for these. And again, these look excellent and a great way to start your day off with some protein. For lunch this week, I'm making queso baked chicken. I love queso and I love chicken and this just sounds really good. I'll pair this with a veggie. So again, it'll be a great high protein, low calorie, low point lunch. So let me show you what's in our chicken. I'm going to weigh out one pound of chicken on my food scale. That's what I added to the recipe calorie wise. So one pound of chicken breast. You're going to need some Roma tomatoes, of course, some queso, light shredded cheese, ground cumin, chili pepper, salt, and a can of diced green chilies. So let's make some queso baked chicken. I weighed out one pound. This is actually one pound, one ounce of the chicken breast. I went ahead and sliced these in half so that it made four servings total because the recipe makes four days worth of lunches. I sprayed my baking dish with nonstick cooking spray and I'm just going to add in my pieces of chicken, all four of those into the baking dish. We are going to add some salt just right over the top. And then we're going to add our chili powder. I don't like my food too, too spicy, so I'm gonna be a little light-handed on the chili powder. And then we're also going to add cumin, which is gonna make it that really good Mexican flavor. Now we're going to top it with half of the can of green chilies. So we have a small can here, so you just wanna divide that in half for this layer, and then the other half will actually go on top once we add the queso. And then we're also going to add half of the chopped tomatoes to this layer as well. I did three of my Roma tomatoes because they were a little bit on the small side. So I went ahead and cut up three of those. And now for the best part, the queso. So we want a cup of queso, and we are just going to spread that evenly over the top of our chicken. I don't even know that I have an entire cup left. I am going to take the calories and points for a cup, but this is actually all the queso that I have left. So spread that out nice and evenly over your chicken. Oh my goodness, am I excited for this? Now I'm going to add the other half of the can of the green chilies and the other half of my Roma tomatoes. And last but not least, one cup of the shredded cheese right over the top. Oh my goodness. All right, and then this is going in the oven, 375 degrees. You just wanna make sure your chicken is cooked completely through. Okay, so chicken is out of the oven. Oh my goodness, look at how good that looks. Oh, yum. You guys, this is gonna be so good for lunches. So I'm gonna let this cool a little bit, then we'll take a piece out for each day. And I did, while the chicken was cooking, add the last of my bird's eye California blend veggies to my meal prep containers here. So each day for lunch, I'll do a piece of the queso chicken and some veggies. Look at how delicious this looks, this queso baked chicken and veggies. What a great lunch. I may have a fruit as well, but this is a pretty hearty, hefty serving of the queso chicken. So it is five smart points per serving on blue and purple and seven points on the green plan just because you do have to count for chicken. 
296 calories, not counting the veggies. That's just for the queso baked chicken, but it smells so good. And who doesn't love queso pretty much on anything? For a snack this week, I'm making banana bread. My husband actually asked for this recipe, so I found a WW friendly, calorie friendly, healthy, no added sugar, yes, no added sugar banana bread recipe. Let me show you what's in our banana bread. You'll need rolled oats, all purpose flour, you'll need honey, non fat or full fat, whatever your preference is, Greek yogurt, baking soda, unsweetened applesauce vanilla extract, eggs, two large ripe bananas, the riper the better, some salt, and last but not least, cinnamon. The first thing we need to do for our banana bread is put together the dry ingredients. So I have one and three quarters of a cup of all-purpose flour. We are going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, a pinch of salt, and some cinnamon, I'm going to add quite a bit because you guys know my love of cinnamon. And then we are going to mix this thoroughly before we add in the wet ingredients. For the wet ingredients, I have one half of a cup of honey. The honey and the banana is basically what we are using as a sweetener for the spread, so all natural, which is awesome. And then a third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And I did this in place of a third of a cup of oil in the original recipe. And then one quarter cup of the Greek yogurt. I'm using the full fat. If you use the non-fat yogurt, it does not change the points of the bread. So if all you have on hand is full fat, don't feel bad about using that because again, it doesn't change the overall point points per slice of bread. And then two eggs, go ahead and pop those in. And lastly, after these eggs is a little bit of vanilla extract, about a teaspoon or so of that. Go ahead and mix that all together before we add in the mashed banana. Lastly, we are adding two large mashed ripe bananas. Mine weren't as ripe as I wanted. I actually picked them up about four days ago. They just didn't ripen as fast as I was hoping on my counter. So they're still pretty good, but the riper the better when it comes to the banana. That just really enhances the sweetness. So go ahead and mix your banana in thoroughly. Grab out your bread pan and let's get this in the oven. I'm going to spray my bread pan really well with some nonstick cooking spray. We certainly don't want our bread sticking, and then we are going to add in our mixture. Look at this, huh, it looks so good. It smells incredible. You can do a couple modifications to this recipe. You could always add in some nuts if you wanted more of a banana nut bread. You could also add in some chocolate chips, whether they be lilies or mini chocolate chips or even a seasonal flavored chocolate chip, you could always add in that. And you can also top your banana bread with about a tablespoon of rolled oats, and I am going to do that. So let's get in the batter, spread it out nice and evenly, and we'll add the oats. I'm going to take a tablespoon of rolled oats, or two tablespoons, and add that to the top of the bread. Again, by doing this addition, it does not add any additional points. If you did do the chocolate chips or nuts, it would add some additional points, but this bread is really low in smart points and calories. I can't wait to share it with you once this baby comes out of the oven. Banana bread is out of the oven. My house smells incredible. This looks so incredibly delicious. I am going to let it cool for quite a while before we pop it out of the pan, cut it into slices, and I'll be back to share points and calories. Here's our banana bread. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at this. It's so moist, it smells so good. So I cut my loaf into 12 pieces. If you cut it into 12 pieces, it is five smart points per piece and 140 calories. Now, if you wanted a little bigger piece of banana bread, because who doesn't, you can cut this into eight servings for seven smart points per serving and 210 calories. So I just did 12 pieces so I could show you the size for the lowest amount of points. That's a big piece of banana bread for only five smart points. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. I hope that you are as excited as I am about these three recipes. I'm telling you everything is absolute perfection. That banana bread is better than full fat, full sugar banana bread. It is 
so delicious. Highly recommend making all three recipes. Again, my website with all of my recipes is down in the description box down below, along with discount codes and links to all my favorite things, as well as my Facebook group, my nutrition coaching. So definitely check out that description box. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And definitely don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it. Help me hit 30,000 subscribers. And of course, be subscribed to a really fun channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Monday. Bye.